Today, I'll show you how to add email aliases to your G Suite Gmail accounts without paying a single cent more. And then I'll show you how to reply emails using that alias, all from one email login. With G Suite, you can add up to 30 email aliases for each user at no extra cost. This is a huge saving for businesses. Let's get started. By the way, if you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe our channel. Go to admin.google.com. Sign into your admin console using a G Suite administrator account. From the admin console homepage, go to users. In the users list, find the user that you want to add email alias. Click the user's name to open their account page. Click user information, then alternate email addresses, email alias. Click alternate email and enter an alternate username. This is the part of the address that appears before the add sign. Please take note, you can't create an alias currently assigned to someone else, either a primary address or alias. Click Save. Now, an alternate email address is created and you can receive email already. Next, I'll show you how to reply or send email from that email alias. On your computer, open your G Suite Gmail account. On the top right of your mailbox, click Settings Cogwheel. Then, see All Settings. Click the Accounts tab. Some user may seen as Account and Import tab. In the Send Mail as sections, click Add another email address. Enter your preferred name and full email address you want to send from. In my case, I choose Customer Service as my name and I type hello at aaron.sg as full email address so that I can interact with my prospective customers as a customer service. Click next step and then send verification. In my case, I already have my account verified earlier. For schools or works accounts, enter SMTP server, for example, smtp.gmail.com or smtp.yourschool.edu and your name and password on that account. You can see the customer service email has been added in the send mail as box. Now, I will send the email alias email. Click the downward arrow next to the default email address. A drop-down email list will appear. In my case, I'll select customer service to write an email. We can use up to 30 email aliases per user. Compose an email and hit the send button. My prospective customer will receive an email from the customer service instead. In the next video, I'll show you how to create group emails with G Suite accounts. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe our channel. If you want a G Suite service from a Google Cloud partner like us, you can email us anytime. Thank you so much for watching.